Ow. <laughs> now, was that the bald eagle? Uh, not yet. Oh, okay. Welcome back, y'all. It is almost 6 o'clock on Friday evening. We just got home about, I guess we've been here for about 45 minutes now. I just got some pizzas ordered. They're going to be here in about an hour, about 45 minutes to an hour. We went to Mama's today for lunch, and we went to Dollar Tree with her, and then the kids hunted some eggs and stuff at her house, and then after that, on our way home, we stopped by Dollar General. This is a fancy Dollar General. They have some vegetables. We got bananas, potatoes, onions, tomatoes, garlic, apples, blueberry, stra oh, those strawberries look good. They're expensive, but they look good. Cream cheese, fruit dip, caramel dip, great with apples. They have grapes, lemons, blueberries. Oh look, they even have the strawberry gel to make strawberry things. They even have creamer, like all the creamers, and I'm running low, so I need some. Do I want cinnamon roll or what I've been getting? I've been getting sweet and creamy. I think I'll stick with sweet and creamy, but I do like that cinnamon roll one there too. They've got cinnamon rolls, butter, eggs, cheese, lots of cheese. I mean, I know other Dollar Generals have this stuff too, but I don't think they have like this much. This cooler goes all the way back there. Hot dogs. I'm trying to think of what we're gonna have for supper tonight. I was gonna get pizzas. We'll see. They have pizzas here if we wanna do frozen pizza, Manny. They even have the Arby's fries, Checkers fries, Sonic fries, waffles, toaster strudels. They even have Edward's pies. It's old timey perfume things. That is cute. Do they have anything in them? No, they're three dollars. <laughs> they got some nice baskets here. How much are these? Ten for these blue ones. Oh, that's pretty flimsy for ten. I would think five. I'm just saying, but this one's neat. Oh, it's got an elephant on it. That's cute. They're twelve. This is a really big one. I'm gonna guess twenty. Eighteen. They have some pretty things over here. Oh look, they have a treat stand. You make a little, that is cute. That would be cute for a party or something. A little tiny baby cakes hand mixer, that's cute. This is a pretty measuring cup there. Those are cute. Utensils, what does this say? Bless this kitchen, recipe book stand. That's a pretty little turntable tray there. That's pretty. Diet. Did I eat that? <laughs> That's funny. Piggies. So this is some of the stuff that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and Dollar General. From Dollar Tree, I got one of these candles. Mama got a bunch of these. I think she was getting one for each one of her sisters. She has six sisters and three brothers. She's one of ten kids. But it's a little candle with the flowers on it. It's really pretty. So I got one of those too. And I got this jar with the flowers on it. And this little basket here. These were all $1.25 from Dollar Tree and then from Dollar General. I got these little yellow bowls. They had these yellow ones and the blue cut like the greenish color that's on this, this color here. I got this bowl and this plate that they look like wood, but they're not, but they look like wood. And then these are Sissy's sandals from the Dollar General. Aren't they pretty? They were $5. She already took the tag off, but they were $5. And Manny got a guitar. Nanny got that for you, didn't she? Yeah. Can you play us a song? That's a good one. I got these two glasses here. They're really pretty. This one's just clear with some green flowers. And then this one's purple with white flowers. I got this round white stand. I have a couple of ideas of things I want to do with this, like a couple of places I want to put it. I actually wish they would have had two, but I only saw this one. I got these hooks because I'm going to put one of these on the side of my, the white thing over there in the corner to hang my aprons up on. So hopefully, how much does it say? Holds two pounds. Oh yeah, it'll hold them. I got this folding tray. They had this one and one that just had um, several different color stripes going oh, yeah. across what the middle. And this is just a little thing to put on the sink to hold this brush and this little sponge in the sink. And that's it. I already have my cream cheese and butter out over here for the, I almost said dressing. I'm not sure why I almost said dressing for the frosting <laughs> for the to die for carrot cake. So I'm just gonna let, I think I just need one stick of butter and one cream cheese, but I grabbed two out just in case. We're gonna go ahead and preheat the oven and start making the cake. Pizza's here. This is the calzone stuffed crust, and then we got the New York pepperoni 
You want cheese or pepperoni? Y'all, I couldn't find my scissors, so I'm borrowing Sissy's. I don't know where my kitchen scissors went off to. Somebody must have used them and forgot to bring them back. So we got our pans greased and floured. Now I put down some parchment paper and I'm gonna rub just a little more Crisco on this parchment paper. It doesn't have to be a lot. Uh, you could, of course, use cooking spray, but I'm still out, so I'm doing it the way Grandma used to do it. Grandma way back, great grandma. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got the pans ready. Well, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of flour on top of the parchment paper too, not much. Just a little shake, shake, shake. The oven is already ready. The pizza got here a lot sooner. It's like it was just supposed to be here maybe 10 minutes ago, so it got here early and we went ahead and ate. So this is a three-step cake. You don't have to have a mixer. We just mix it by hand. We'll start with the first set of ingredients, then we add in the second set, then we add in the third. The first thing we need is one and a half cups of oil or unsweetened applesauce. I've made it with both of them. It's great with either one. Now we need two cups of sugar. You can make this cake as a nine by 13. You can do a three layer, two layer. I've never tried it uh, with using a bunt pan, but I'm sure it would be fine. It is an extremely moist cake. I did try to make cupcakes with it one time and that does not work. It's way too moist for that. Now we need three eggs. I already washed this little yellow bowl. We'll use it to crack our eggs into. I don't think he's here yet. I haven't heard him pull up yet. So that's the first group of ingredients. We'll go ahead and mix all this together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get out the mini food chopper because in a minute we're gonna need it to chop up carrots. All right, it's time for the next group of ingredients. First, we need two cups of all-purpose flour. There's one and two. A teaspoon of baking soda and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder half a teaspoon of salt, sip of tea, and <laughs> one teaspoon of cinnamon. This ends up kind of being like the hummingbird cake and kind of like the red bird cake that we made before. They're not exactly the same, but it is similar to that cake. We mix all this together. Make sure you get a big bowl for this because you're gonna need a big one. Okay, time to switch our stirring utensil. I'm gonna wash these dishes up real quick. We're putting about half a cup of chopped pecans and a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, now we need one cup of chopped carrots and one cup of crushed pineapple. Now the pineapple that I have is pineapple chunks, so I am gonna have to crush those up in the mini food chopper too a little bit. Let's scoop this over to the side for a minute. Sissy's here just in time for the chop. We need, uh, how much did I say? Did I say one cup? I'm sorry, I meant two cups, y'all. I'll be getting the pineapple ready. You wanna leave the juice, so I'm just gonna measure out a cup of these pineapple chunks that we can crush. That might be about two cups. That may be all we need. Let me get you a spatula. Okay. Oh, you got some bedroom slippers now? I'm on the one who bought them for me. Somebody bought those for you? Mm-hmm. Bear Papa. Okay, Cece's putting in the carrots, and since this is all going in the same bowl, we're not gonna worry about washing this yet. We'll go ahead and chop up the pineapple. We're ready to put the batter in the pans. They're going in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Go ahead and make the frosting. It's just uh, cream cheese, butter, powdered sugar, a little bit of vanilla, and just a dash of salt. 